Yo, what is up everybody? Let me start today's video off by saying I am still a little bit sick, so if you're just tuning into my channel for the first day, and this is the first video you're seeing, I do not normally sound like a dying walrus, but I'm just getting over my cold. I have been sick for like a week straight, and I swear this has been the worst possible time in probably my entire life to get sick. So if you didn't know, the Red Recruitment Challenge started a while ago. You had like a couple weeks to get clips. My Elgato went down for the first half of that, and I thought no big deal. I can go ahead and get some clips for the last half of it and it'll be totally fine. I get sick during the last half of it, so the entire Red Recruit, I could not record like any clips at all. Total fail, and it's a shame because I mean, this is they were picking up a lot of members, and this really could have been a, you know, a huge chance to get into Red, so it's, it's really upsetting, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. It happened, it's over, I can't really do anything about it. But to top that off, Call of Duty Champs was this weekend. Now, I was so excited for this tournament, I've been waiting for like three or four months at this point, ever since it was announced. I was just waiting and waiting and waiting, telling myself that I was going to watch Call of Duty Champs, I was going to enjoy it the entire weekend, and have some fun, and you know, just watch my favorite team, which was Optic, or still is Optic, do good, and hopefully win, which I'm, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in today's commentary. <clears throat> but yeah, so it was Call of Duty Champs, super excited about that, and I ended up getting sick to the point where like I didn't even want to get out of bed, I mean, I couldn't focus on watching it very much, I mean, I had a headache from staring at a screen, it was just really bad, so I didn't really get to enjoy Call of Duty Champs as much as I wanted. And it's double XP weekend, or it was double XP weekend as well. So I missed out on an entire double XP weekend when I'm trying to reach Master Prestige or Grand Master Prestige. I missed out on Call of Duty Champs and I missed out on the last half of the Red Recruit Challenge. So like I said, probably the worst time I could possibly ever get sick in my entire life. But oh well, I mean it's over. I mean I should not have this stuffy dying whale voice by the end of tomorrow. It should hopefully all be back to normal by tomorrow's commentary. But, with all of that being said, let me talk a little bit about Call of Duty Champs. And as many of you know, Optic did not place as well as everyone, you know, everyone just assumed they were going to win. They have won the past few events, they've trained so hard, I mean, they have a god squad pretty much. Crim6, Formal, and Skump are some of the best players in the game. I think, I honestly would say Skump is the best player in the game. That's just my opinion though. And then Nature is on the OBJ gameplay, he's a pretty good objective player. And so everybody just assumed Optic was going to win, hands down, it's going to be a 3-0 every single match. And that's not actually what happened. Optic ended up coming in 7th place, they got knocked out, and they ended up in the loser's bracket, and then they got knocked out of the loser's bracket by Phase Red. 3-0, I believe? Yes, I, I believe it was 3-0. And it was just, it was really disappointing overall. I mean, I do think that they could have played better. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're a great team, and I do think that they played at their full potential, they could have won. But a lot of the players, they were having difficulty sometimes. Um, I want to see, I'm waiting for them to upload their video explaining what happened, maybe some things happened that we don't know about. But a lot of the times, Nate Shot was inconsistent, and don't get me wrong, Nate Shot, I love Nate Shot, I've watched his videos forever, I think he's an amazing person, and <clears throat> all that stuff, I, I really do think he's a good player, and a lot of people give him crap and say he's not a good player, and say that he's bad, and all this stuff like that, and I, overall, I mean, I don't think that's right, I think that, I mean, he shows up sometimes, and he, he plays good, and he plays the objective good, and he's an excellent search player. But he can be inconsistent at times. And this weekend, he was extremely inconsistent. I do not... I mean, that's just... When you're on a team like Optic and it's a million dollar tournament, you can't really be inconsistent and expect to win. So because of the inconsistency, his team ended up losing. And, um, and it's not fully his fault. A lot of the members were inconsistent at different times. I mean, that's just a given. That just happens sometimes. And overall, I mean, that's kind of what costed him the entire tournament in general. Seventh place wasn't too bad. But I mean, like I said, everyone expected him to finish better than that, honestly. That is just my take on Call of Duty Champs 2015. If you want to let me know yours, let me know in the comment section down below. I would honestly be interested in hearing that. And a lot of you guys actually messaged me asking if I was okay checking up on me, seeing if I was feeling any better. And it honestly melts my heart to see that you guys truly are caring about me and checking up on me and just making sure that I'm okay. Thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. I am okay now. I'm back to normal. I'm really sorry if I haven't been very active lately or I have not replied to you guys in a little bit. I've been really sick like I said and I'm trying to get back to all of that now and I'm messaging you guys back now and things are going back to normal so don't worry about that I'm catching up on everything but over the past five days I'm kind of just been chilling out uh, I spent a lot of time with my girlfriend we mainly just play Pokemon together over the past five days and it's just it's been an amazing time overall the time that I've spent with her playing Pokemon it's just it's 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 honestly pretty cool that I mean there's someone that I am actually in a relationship with that is interested in the same thing that I was interested in as a child it's, it was a great experience just I had a ton of fun over the past five times playing it with her. And it, honestly, it made me remember how much I really do miss the game in general. Pokemon was an awesome game. It was pretty much my entire childhood. And I'm probably going to continue playing it for a little bit. It just I really did forget how awesome and fun it was. Now, with that being said, I'm interested in hearing what is your guys' favorite Pokemon. Mine definitely has to be Charizard. I just love Fire Pokemon so much. 
And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite Pokemon is. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to drop a like down below. And once again, thank you guys all so much for sticking with me, even though I've been so sick. I'll see you guys all for tomorrow's upload. Peace out, everybody.